It's eight o'clock, so y'all know what time it is. I got my frosty drink, pineapple juice, and coconut juice. I just curry some chicken. I'm good. Bell is on the way, y'all. We live or what? <laughs> Give me the stop. Keep, keep, kicking. Microphone on. <sighs> What's going on? <laughs> My microphone's way up there. I didn't get a chance to really broadcast that we was going to be on tonight. You know, my days are just like crazy with so much going on. Peace and blessings, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm the host of the show, MC Big John. Tonight, I'm broadcasting live from the Gambia. I have a very, very, very special guest with me. Uh, she's on her way. She's a good woman, beautiful woman, beautiful black woman. She's from the Gambia. And as of last Friday, she is my wife. Let me try to fix this microphone real quick, y'all, I'm sorry. This thing's going to fall. How's everybody doing? That's what I want to know. Is everybody good? Doing their thing? Appreciate all of the positive feedback for the marriage, all the congratulations, uh, just everything. Just really, really appreciative right now. We got Kiki coming in too. Let me see if I can uh, put this in for Kiki. If it's your first time here, we just wanna say, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm the host, MC Big John. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and all that good stuff. Uh, that's for Kiki, so she could jump in here whenever she's available. Uh, I just wanna know how's everybody doing? Everybody's good? Man, I messed my shirt up. I was cooking cu curry chicken, curry some chicken. Yeah, that's all that. Everybody chime in, let everybody know where you're from, where you're at. Make sure that the family's good. Anybody need to talk about anything? Anybody need to say anything? Let me know. I'm just waiting for Bella. Let me put let me pull her chair up for her. She's hungry. She had to, you know, go take care of some stuff. Everybody going through Ramadan. Just want to say Ramadan, Kareem. For my people going through Ramadan right now, I hope you're having a great and wonderful fast. Uh, I did fast maybe for about a day. Yeah. It was fine. You know, I'm used to fasting. I'm fast 10 years straight. You know what I mean? So it ain't no, no issue. And in some shape, form, or fashion, we fast every day. That's why when you get up in the morning, that first meal, they call it break fast, breakfast. So we fast every day in some shape, form, or fa fashion. But this particular holy month, which is the month of my marriage, this is the time when God revealed the Quran divine revelation to Muhammad, peace and blessing upon him. So to actually get married in this month, it's a bigger deal than what I truly even realized myself. You know what I'm saying? Frat two, what's going on? Thank you, sister. I appreciate that. Um, 
trying to live good, trying to stay out those fast food uh, restaurants, not too many snacks, drink my water. I'm not getting enough water, sis. I got to start drinking more water. I'm drinking juice and everything else. And, you know, I got to drink the water. We went out for a little exercise today. I can't wait to show y'all our exercise video. Bella and myself, we actually had a race. Uh, so funny. We actually had a race. She says she won. I think I won the race. You know? I think I think I won the race. She thinks she won the race. So I said, yo, we just have to do it again. You know what I mean? We just have to race again. This time we're going to have somebody film it. I did film it. And yes, you know what I'm saying? I know I won. I'll show y'all the video and then y'all tell me what y'all think. TK, how you doing? Yes, I am happy. That is the most important. I appreciate you. TK, what's going on? Where you calling? Where, where, where you coming in? Where you joining us from? No. I'm talking to the people. What's taking you so long? Huh? They want to see you. They ain't thinking about me. They want to see Bella. Where's Bella? Where is Bella? Where is Bella, John? John, where is Bella? Bella's coming. Uh, the Congo? Wait a minute, hold on. You, you all the way in the Congo? How far is that from uh, Gambia? I'm, I'm trying to go. Bob Garvey, what's going on? Peace and blessings. Good evening to you too. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to. Bob Garvey, where are you at? Bob, where are you at? I wanted to see who's gonna who's gonna chime in with us. We waiting for the first lady. The first lady is coming. She about to make her debut. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all don't want to see me. Y'all want to see her. You know what I'm saying? She taking over. The women are taking over. The brothers ain't gonna say much. It's just in the middle of Africa on the center. Wait, the Congo. Hmm. Can I get an invite? I'm trying to go to the Congo. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm trying to go to the Congo. Lord have mercy. Women just can't just come on and be on time for nothing. Can y'all hear me loud and clear? Because this, this, Bella, they waiting for you, Bella. Where you at? It was a, Harmon, it was, uh, Harmony, it was a, it was a surprise to me too. I found out when you found out. I found out when you found out. So how, how you like that? I found out when you found out. I didn't know nothing. That, you know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. Everybody's like, yo, that's why you went. No, I did not come to the Gambia to get married. No, that's not how that happened. And when I found out when y'all found out. So what does that mean, Big John? How'd you find out when I found out? I tell y'all the whole story, the truth, and nothing but the truth. Bella, it's okay to tell. <laughs> she didn't want to tell that. Bella, I, I, I don't, listen, I'm telling you, it didn't happen. Yo, this was not a plan. I promise y'all, this was not a plan. Uh oh, without further ado. Wait a minute, watch out right there. No, don't worry about it. Come on. Without further ado, wait, whoa. <laughs> What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, coming all the way live from the Gambia in Africa. We have a beautiful black sister in the building. She breaking hearts all the way in America from Gambia. Ladies and gentlemen, this beautiful, intelligent black woman, she can do beauty situations like hair. She can do makeup. She can cook. As of today, come to find out, she's sort of kind of a track star. I don't know for real, for real. Y'all got to look at the video, see for yourself. But listen, I don't want to hold y'all up. Y'all, uh, without further ado, here is the all brand new Bella Kita Luckett, my wife. Can we have a round of applause? Can we have a round of applause? A round of applause? A round of applause? <laughs> What's going on, Bella? How you doing? I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah, say hello to everybody. 
what we talking about? Uh, let's read some of these comments. Okay, okay. So we just click. Is no mention last week. Uh, yes, uh, John. God replace you. Place who you had with who you need. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, uh, <laughs> Blue. Thank you, Blue. Aspen, uh, we appreciate that. And I want everybody to chime in. Let me know where y'all at. Let me know. Let me know where, where y'all at. Blue Aspen says congratulations. Give me a chef's in the building. What's going on? Give me a chef says congratulations. Uh, who so findeth a wife findeth good ting, <laughs> and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Like I said earlier, this is the last days, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not here to pull no wool over your eyes or anything like that. This is the last days. You need a union and prepare for the coming of the Lord. Whichever way you want to believe it, whichever way you want to take it. But I would tell you right now that this was not a planned marriage. I did not plan this. That wasn't the reason why I came here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what she's going to tell y'all. But I'm telling y'all that I did not plan this situation. It just sort of developed. But when God tells you to move, you got to move. You got to make movement. So here we are. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no regrets or nothing like that. I think that we, you know, we, we keeping it real with each other and making sure that, you know, honesty, so yeah, honesty is, is important. Mm -hmm. uh, all I got is there's a lot of things going on over on that side of the house. You know what I'm saying? It's very busy, <laughs> very, very busy. Uh, you know, things are happening. That's all I can say about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thank you, Blue Aspen. Deborah Green says, uh, congratulations. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Deborah. Where you at, Deborah? Deborah Green, where are you? And make sure you subscribe. If you're not, if you haven't subscribed, let me tell you how it's important for you to subscribe. We are full-time YouTubers now. You know what I'm saying? This is the bulk of our time. But as long as you subscribe and you like the content and you hit the like button and most definitely share with other people and leave a comment, the algorithm will pick us, pick us up, pick up on us and you know, we can we can bring you more beautiful content, not only from Gambia, from all over the world. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So Deborah Green, let us know where you're at. Uh wow, we got new comments and I can't say, uh gosh, Lord. Thank you. So oh wait a minute, hold on. Woo! Y'all are moving tonight. Uh Blue Aspen says, Queen Aaron J. Tamba. Where are you, Aaron? Where are you? Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe, Aaron. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I can't keep up. Uh, uh, what is this? Doo, 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 doo. Uh, now, what is that icon? Uh, are we shaking hands? No, that's not a fist mark. That's a, we shaking hands. I think Bob Garvey. Thank you. Um, oh my God, I can't keep it. Hey, Be TK says, "Hey, Bella, what's going on?" Be Bella has her own channel, by the way. Bella the Gambia. We're just now getting it together. You know what I'm saying? But she has her own channel. So if you want to go check out uh, Bella, look, we got the y'all seen the y'all seen the pictures of the ceremony and, and, and stuff like that. But we actually have video. I'm I'm backed up with content. I'm trying to get it right. Just give me a few minutes. I got so much content for you. Say hi to TK. Hi, TK. Uh Mixed Native. How you doing, Mixed Native? Grand Rising Queen. Wow, you got it like that. Grand Rising Queen Queen. <laughs> Damn, say hi to mixed natives. Hi. Mixed native. Native. Mixed native. Yes. Native. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at, mixed native? Let us know. Um, Harmon Clark says, thanks. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, Harmony. Thank you. Harmony, you've been there. You know, uh, we both appreciate y'all. Anybody want to jump in here and have a conversation with us live? We can do that too. Thank you, uh, uh, HRM uh, Black Grinder. First, much appreciation. And uh, let the most high bless your marriage. Absolutely. Deborah Green says, Florida, on my way here, oh, on my way out here. Huh? Wait a minute. Florida, on my way out here. Going to Mexico first and then the motherland. What? You got to look. If you, if you need to come with us in November, um, October, November, we're coming, we're, we're taking a, a group trip. You most definitely want to holler at us, uh, send an email or what have you, so you can uh, most definitely enjoy 
this with some people that have been here that we setting up some uh, different types of discounts at the hotels and stuff like that. We're just waiting for Kiki. Kiki must be sleeping because she's been in the comments all day. But uh, when are you planning on coming, Deborah Green? Let us know. Uh, Blue Aspen uh, says, I'm proud of you for standing strong and keeping faith and love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate that. Uh, boy, where we at? I keep skipping stuff. There's so many. We appreciate all these comments. Lord, how are we going to get all this? She says, uh, hi there, a baby on the way. <laughs> is there a baby? Oh, is there a baby on the way? Mm -hmm. Oh, there is? Yes. Oh, how do you know? Right, wait a see. Look, I don't know to give me away. They don't inform you looking, of nothing. Looking forward. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. Inshallah. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I know you got to ask her. I don't know. <laughs> I just, you know, I just do my thing. Yes. Respect all the queens in the room. Yes, but well, God, God be. Uh, respect all the queens. Um, I like that smile on your face, son. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciation. Uh, congratulations, John and Bella. Deborah Price. Where you at, Deborah Price? Thank Let you. us know where you at. Um, I need to go stir that pot real quick. You want to talk to the people or you want to stir the pot? Um, you want to stir the pot? Um, go ahead. Go stir the pot. Stir it from the bottom, okay? Yeah. You might want to take it off because, yeah, it's hot. It might be hot. Is that hot? Stir from the bottom, very bottom, and scrape it. I'm over here currying chicken, y'all. So I'm sorry. Oh, I, oh, who, who, what, what, who I see? Who I see? Wait a minute, hold on. Who I see just popped on my screen? Wait a minute, hold up now. Who I didn't see popped on my screen? Oh, she acted up, y'all. She acted up, y'all. You need to calm down over there, sis. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Coming in right now live is my sister, Kiki Loves Nigeria. What's up, what Kiki? Up, I still can't get my backdrop like yours. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Where my headphones at? I'm tripping. You see? It takes skill. Uh -uh, the ones on the back of the... What's going on? I'm tripping. I ain't even got my headphones on. What's wrong with me? Y'all, forgive me, I, it's, I'm still on honeymoon status. I can't get it yeah. right, though. You should. I'm, I'm, I'm still in honeymoon mode. You should. And I'm working be. on my honeymoon, and people are calling. Thank God. Bless God, because uh, all praises do. You know, this, this one on the back of the bed. There's another one somewhere. Let's yeah, see what pray, pray when, um, you call them your ancestors. Remember, we talked about that. Uh, and yo, I got a story to tell you. I got a story to tell you. I got a story to tell you, but we're going to do it off screen. I can't do it off okay. screen because it's going to hurt a lot of feelings. But I got to oh. tell you off screen. I feel like I ain't seen you forever. I know. It has been forever and oh. ever and ever. Let me see if you see another one just like it up here somewhere. Yo, so what's up? Yo, Kiki is on her way. What up? I see you ready. I see you ready. I, I can am. already tell that you're ready. I Yo, sure am. We about you know me, I'm ready. I stay ready. I stay ready. I said, I, I was saying Kiki must be Kiki must be sleeping because I said she's been in the comments all day. Man, I did lay down and take a nap because I got up early in them comments. So I did do that. And that's what made me late. I woke up late. I'm like, oh my God. So, but I'm sorry, guys. I'm here. How's everybody doing? I'm doing wonderful, everybody. I missed you guys last week, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm crazy as all outdoors. I don't even know how y'all hearing me. My microphone ain't even plugged in. What you doing here? Oh, for real? We can hear you. We can hear you. Here so your sister, I, gotta go. I got a lot of questions. I want to know about the wedding. I want to know about everything. You know me. I want to know it all. So come on, let's go. Hi, Bella. You, you, know, you, you want to know every? Squeeze in here. You want to know everything? Like what? What happened? Oh, like we go. details. We want to know oh, the details. I love your hair, Kiki. Oh, she says she love your hair, Kiki. Beautiful. Thank you. You want to know everything that happened? Happened like what? Like okay, on the pictures. When you were sitting around, like you were sitting in the group with the men, like what were you guys? Can you tell us what you were talking about, or is that man stuff and you can't tell yeah. stuff? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. I'll give you the whole breakdown. So, okay, on last 
uh, on last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wait a this must have been, must have been Thursday early. I'm trying to think of this. Hold on. It must have been Tuesday. It was either Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember now. Mm -hmm. Bella says, you got to go meet with my uncle. And I said, go meet with your uncle for what? She said, you got to take him to Cola Nut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying take him to Cola Nut. Now I know what the Cola Nut is all about. They talk about marriage. Okay. I'm saying take you to Cola Nut. She said, no, you got to go take the Cola Nut to my uncle so uh, we can get married. And I said, I said, Bella, did you tell everybody he was getting married? She said, yeah. So I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so on that Thursday, when you see I have on the yellow, Bella. that's me with, with, with Bella's brother and her nephew uh -huh. going to the family compound in okay. a city called New Newtown. Newtown, yeah. In Newtown. Mm -hmm. And what you see first is just me meeting just basically with the brother and the uncle. Okay. And the nephew. And mm -hmm. then interpreting everything. He can speak English though. This man is 115 years old. Wow. Served in World War II or World War I? World War II. World War II. He still has his capabilities and all that. He can talk. He can talk English, you know, but you know, I was like, no, 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 just talk your way you want to talk and let them translate. Yes. So mm -hmm. the first time you see me with the yellow on, this is the presentation of the colon nut getting the approval from the head of the family. To okay. actually come in, he's like, "Yo, okay." After we talked, and he asked me questions, and we went over a couple of things, and he he says, "I give you the approval. I accept you to the family. Mm -hmm. Present the cola nut. This the first cola nut. There's two okay. cola nuts that you present. First, you okay. present the cola nut to the elder, and then you present it to the whole family. So we present the cola nut. So then he goes, "Okay. So now this is a Thursday." He says, okay, we're going to do this tomorrow at 5 o'clock. I'm like, what? Wait a minute. Hold on. Tomorrow already? I'm like, no, man, hold on. He's like, nope, tomorrow, 5 o'clock, we're going to do this now. You know, I'm like, oh, boy. So uh, so after that, uh, if you see me still with the yellow on. This is when I go to uh, Bella's mother's compound now. Mm -hmm. And then you see me over there and. Man, that was a that was in a big situation, man. I mean, people was fainting and everything. I was like, yo, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, man, it was crazy. And, uh, uh, that's when you see me holding the baby. That's when everybody see me holding the baby. Want to know if that's my baby? I'm just, uh, I, all the children of mine in America, all the children in the world belong to me. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But uh, that was that, and. Uh, uh, then Bella came, we left, Bella came with me. Once I got the family approval, Bella came with me. And then that morning she left out because I couldn't see her no more after she left in the morning. So she left, she got her outfit, she got herself all together. And then uh, the taxi comes and gets me. Mm -hmm. I go, I go, I have to go and take care of business first. Mm -hmm. I go take care of the business first. Mm -hmm. I meet up at uh, Bella's mother's house. That's when you see me put on that like cream color outfit. I get dressed over there. Yeah. Okay. And we go back to the family compound in Newtown. Mm -hmm. And then once we get to the family compound in Newtown, that's when you see me come in. Y'all haven't seen everything yet. I got to get y'all the video. The video is coming. But I come in. I, I came in there. All of the men of the family are there that could make it because it's Ramadan. Okay. And uh, we go, I go in there, uh, I shake everybody's hand. The elder, he's like, come, come, come here, come sit next to me. I sit mm -hmm. next to the uncle and, uh, okay. you know, the ceremony begins. It's ritualistic. It's, it's you know, we had four imams there. Yeah. Four oh, yeah. imams there. And they, right, they all came to bless and they did their prayers. And then what happens is, huh? I said, wow, keep going. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, they, they go and there's a man there that represents my father. He's an imam. Mm -hmm. So he represents my father. They tell the brother that he is no longer part of Bella's brother, Omar. He's no longer part of the family. He's part of me now. So he's like a delegate delegate between, you know, us and, and the rest of the family. Okay. So it's, it's, it was very ritual, ritualistic. I never experienced anything like it. I got the video coming to y'all. I promise y'all. I just need a little bit more time because I'm doing a bunch of videos right now editing. So uh, after after that, then the imams do the prayer. 
Okay. They do the prayer. So if you if you if you look at some of the pictures, you can see them all like uh, Indian style on the yeah. ground. They're doing the prayers and they pray together. They bless us as a union. They bless us into the family. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they bring out the second set of cola nut. And then that's when they they pass out the cola nut and they do like a juice. They give you know like a it's like a gift, and you know then basically the ceremony is over. But once uh -huh. the ceremony is over, that's when they split up who gets what in terms of the financial contribution and stuff like that. And that was interesting. I was so excited because I was like, oh look at this! Oh wow! Oh Oh, yeah, really? Oh, that was it. That was oh, I love it. I love to see the Gary and people argue because you know it's a peaceful argument, you know what I mean? But everybody, you know, they arguing and telling you, oh, it was so interesting. And then after that was over, we I said goodbye to everybody. We got back in the taxi, and then we went. I had to go meet uh uh your wife. Bella, my wife. I had to go meet Bella. I'm sorry. Right, so so right, yeah. right. So I get I get there, I get out the, the taxi, and then when I walk in, it's just like it's all women basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, flash. I felt like I was in Hollywood or something like that. Flash, 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 flash. Oh, then it's a lady there, she's got the megaphone. Y'all gonna see all this, I promise you. She's got the oh, megaphone and she's like, well, I can you know, she's talking to them. And then she puts a, a cloth on the floor. She, I'm like, what? You want me to step on it? She said, yes. But she didn't want me to step on it. She wanted me to put money on it. You know what I'm saying? So then I, I see, yeah. So somebody threw some money down or whatever. So just as I'm about to put the money down, here comes Bella running out and gives me a big hug and kiss. And that's the first time I see my wife. Uh, and then she took all my money and threw all my money on the floor. And you know, so then we go inside and we take pictures on the bed. She changed into an outfit that matches mine, and yeah. then we present ourselves to the family as Mr. and Miss, uh, Mr. Luckett. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. John Luckett, and boom, 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 boom. And yeah, it was it was a lot, it was a lot. It was a so, lot. so we just over here, bro. What were some of the questions that they asked you? Questions that they like say, so what's your intentions for Bella? Like, do you like what did they ask? Did they ask any question, like any certain questions? Well, they 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 asked they asked me, do I love her? I said yes. Mm -hmm. They uh said, okay, and you basically uh you listen more than you answer, you know what I'm saying? Because oh, okay. what you're there, what you're there to do is to receive the blessing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like it's like okay, I'm I'm welcoming you to my family. I don't even know you. All I know is that you've seen something, you seen something, and you want to be a part of us. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know you, but God is telling me that I should trust you and give you this opportunity, and I'm going to extend the family to you. You know what I'm saying? And I, I rather pay you. Not to deal with her, deal with Bella. If you're not going to do the right thing, then you didn't give me anything or come into this family. That's what it basically you basically you're basically getting your instructions on how to deal with the family, how to deal mm -hmm. with your wife, and what to expect. It's not a lot of questions. They just want to know that you know you're going to do the right thing. And they, you know, they 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 on the side of positivity. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, and, and, and as you're sitting there, like you can feel the hairs on the back of your neck crawling or standing up, and then you look, and then somebody's over there like this looking at you, like, you know, they're watching you from every angle. You know what I'm saying? And they're coming up with their own access assessment. And you know, they was very happy to have me. A lot of pictures, a lot of brothers taking pictures, and you know, it was a line almost like, yo, don't take a picture, come over here, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. Take a picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you you you're receiving knowledge and information more than giving up anything. You know what I'm saying? Just the fact yeah. that you come in there, you're brave enough to stand in front of the family and be uh screw uh you know, go under the scrutiny, you know, that's that's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, were you nervous? No, I wasn't nervous. I wasn't nervous at all. I mean, it was a situation where um, I felt very comfortable. I felt at ease. You know what I'm saying? Me and Bella had, uh, she was here for me. Uh, we had been through, she had seen me go through some trials and tribulations and she had been there for me. So it was sort of easy for me to be able to give her what she wanted. You know what I mean? And, you know, that was 
you know, so it wasn't even uh there was no it was very calm, cool, and collected type of situation. It wasn't there was no stress involved, there was no worry or none of that. It was it was just, it was cool. It was cool in the game. I was I'm I'm good, you know what I'm saying? I'm good. So I got a question for Bella. Now, Bella, uh -oh. tell yes. me, how did you do this? How did you plan this whole event without John knew nothing? Everybody, John, I'm telling you, I talk to John every day, three, four, five times a day. John knew nothing about this. So how did you do this? How, how did you pull this off? That's what I want to know. How, you even had outfits. How did you get the matching outfits? I mean, everything. It was, you guys, it was, it was, I wish you guys could have saw what I saw. What John showed us is only a little bit. I saw the, the other pictures, videos. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's all I can say. Bella, how did you do that? Please. Tell what you want to say. It's okay. Say whatever that. you want to say. Teach us a lesson right now, Bella. Take us to school, honey. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Tell us. We're waiting. Go ahead. Speak your piece. <laughs> you heard what she said, right? Yes, I have a go ahead. To say. Mm. Don't hold nothing back. Go ahead. Let it loose. Um, you don't want to say it. <laughs> Listen. You don't want to say it for the job. Okay. Let, no, no, no. Let, let me say. I'll say this, but I want you to speak, but I'm going to introduce it. We, we had been talking. I was just gathering information. You know what I'm saying? Because we did have a situation going and we wanted to do things the right way. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we was gathering information. Yes. You know oh, what I'm okay. saying? So once, so once you got to understand, once I went back to America, you know, things happened. And, you know, when I came back, I think that it was the intention of Bella to make sure that we do things the right, the right way. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh, so she's right. Right. You talk about doing things the right way. What's the yeah. right way, Bella? Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, Bella. Tell us, right. and Bella, tell us how you stand up for what's right. And that's what you did. That's what she did, you guys. We know the inside right. story. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us. She's shy. She's shy. She's shy. She don't want to. She don't want to talk about it. But I, okay, okay, so I will tell, tell you. I, I will tell you that Bella come from a very strong Muslim family with very strong values. Like I said again, her uncle is the last surviving member of World War II. So the family has a very rich history and very deep rooted in Islam. And you know, you just can't be shacking up. You can't be in a situation where you just got a boyfriend or you got a girlfriend. You cannot do that. And I think what prompted her to, to uh, want to do things the right way because her mother told her that she could not be spending time with me, especially during Ramadan, unless yeah. we was married. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what got her mind thinking like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I want to do things the right way. Why she presented herself to me, but the way the way that she did it, I was like, Yo, Bella, though, but Bella, I mean, you gotta let me know what's going on. She's mm -hmm. like, But well, this is what I want, this is what I want. I said, Okay, well, you know, you gave me what I wanted, and you're willing to give me what I want, so let's just do it right, you know what I'm saying? So, we made the union. Um, there's no resentment or anything like that. I just, you know. I, I, if we had to do it all over again, I can't even say that I would do it even differently than it all came down. But yeah. I will tell y'all, when y'all found out about it, I found out about it the same time. <laughs> they don't know. You guys don't know the inside story. Yeah. If you only I, know. I was like, what? Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. And, and look, Kiki, it's your fault, too. It's, yeah, I want to tell you, Kiki had a lot to do with all of this going on. Yeah, yeah. Kiki had a lot. She was right there in my ear, like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yo, Kiki, what I'm going to do? She's like, oh, no, no, no. Bella's a good woman. John, you going to let that good woman get away? She'll do whatever she wants. Who's pot for me? Who's stir the pot, man? So, you know, it was one of those, it, it was one of those, yeah, you did, you was, you was right there, huh? Yeah. You was right there. was right. And that's what it was. You was right there. 
He was right there advocating the whole time. And, uh, you know, after you stir it that time, just turn it off and put the lid on it. Yeah, because I don't want you, I don't want people talking about you and I don't want people talking about her because I know y'all good people. And I know how Africa mm -hmm. is like the country, like down south with your grandparents. You got to go. Yeah, the, the, word, the word travels fast yes. in the Gambia. Put the lid yes. all the way. Yes. All the way. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of broken hearts right now in America. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just want everybody to know, especially the women know that. Look, you know, I, you know, I, I, I'm just saying, like, you know, the ladies that 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 know me and maybe you know thought, I don't know whatever they thought, but I just say that you know, uh, you know, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 me. You know what I mean? I haven't changed. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying? Like I, every everybody had the same opportunity. You know what I'm oh, saying? Y'all, yeah. you know, oh. yeah, y'all didn't step up to the plate and do oh. what y'all needed to do. I can't really, you know, I can't. can't I'm a good man. Me. I mean, I, I'm a good man. I mean, I don't know how you're gonna let me, you know. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to you seize a man. Me. I mean, yeah, you man. Be me. Bella, you know, she. Mm -hmm. I, I, look, we met by accident, or maybe a chance. We met on a chance, and okay. Well, tell us about yeah, that I mean, because some of, we got single people listening. They want to meet a beautiful woman like Bella. And single women want to meet handsome women. I'm oh, sorry, handsome men. So tell us, how did you guys meet? Well, um, at the time, this was my first go round. And on my first go round in in the Gambia, I actually was about to open up a restaurant. Okay. I was going to oh, open okay. up an American style restaurant. And the restaurant was outside of the resort where I was staying at, was Hyperlink. Bella okay. knows Matthew, who is the owner of Hyperlink. Okay. Uh, Matthew at that time was very excited about me taking over this this property, you know, and mm -hmm. doing this restaurant thing. Mm -hmm. And Bella, from time to time, would call Matthew for work, and he said, "Hey, there's a guy about to open up a restaurant right there. Won't you go over there and you know see if you can catch him and uh, tell him you want a job, you know?" So mm -hmm. on this particular day. Um, where where I, every time I pull up to the resort, I go through the back door because the restaurant is right there. And as I pull up, I always try to gather the feel for the place. So this particular day I pulled up, um, Bella was sitting on the bench. I don't know if she was waiting for me or she was tired or whatever. You <laughs> ask her about that. Okay. She was sitting, yeah, she was sitting on the bench and, uh, you know, I was doing my thing and uh, I'm getting my bags and stuff with the driver and then she either said, are you Big John or something like that? And I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. She was like, I, you know, I heard Matthew told me that you are doing something over here and, you know, I, I want to work. And I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, well, what can you do? She was like, I can do everything. I said, can you cook? She was mm -hmm. like, yeah. I was like, can you clean? She was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, okay, 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 okay. And I was like, all right, well, give me a number and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And um, she gave me her number and, you know, <laughs> uh, and the restaurant thing, it was starting to like fizzle out for some particular reason. I, mm -hmm. I you know, I couldn't get the commitment I wanted or anything like that. So she became like my assistant, like my personal assistant. Like she was like, yo, what's up? And I, she called me and I was like, yo, come on. I, I, you know, I really don't have no work for you, but I'll find something. So mm -hmm. then she, you know, come and she'll work and then I'll talk and then we would go shopping and, you know stuff like that and then mm -hmm. uh it just so what happened so this is what happened so when i when i was when i decided uh that i was going to move into the compound i was mm -hmm. like i don't need her help anymore this is exactly what happened i said i don't need her help no more i said yo i'm, I'm going over here let me get prepared for what's next so uh i had left and she called me she was like you you left i came looking for you they told me you left i said yeah i'm in the compound now she said wow you're gonna leave to the compound without me i was like well Bella, you know i don't really need any help right now but she's like oh you can't do me like that i was like no nah, you've been good i said look all right come on so she comes to the compound and the first thing she said was this is this is not this is very small. This is not a compound. <laughs> this is small. I was like, yeah, this is what it's called. Let's just say it's bachelor. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh yeah, this is 
this is too small. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we laughed and everything like that. So then just then it I went through that major breakup with you know who. Mm -hmm. And Bella was like right there, basically just consoling me and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, keeping me company. She wouldn't leave. I was like, no, nah, you need to go. She's like, no, I'm not leaving you. I'm like, yeah, you need to go. She's like, no, I said, well, then I don't know, sweep the floor, do something. But so she didn't want to leave me. She was very concerned with me. Uh, I, I, like she'd seen everything firsthand where other people only might have seen a video. She was right there while it was all going down. And I mean, it was to the point where like I was fussing over the phone and she was holding me back, like as if another person was here. And I said, Bella, why are you holding me back? Ain't nobody here for me to fight. You know what I'm saying? She's like, no, no, no. I just want you to be okay. So one thing led to another. And then it got into a romantic situation. I mean, she saw me go through tears. She saw me go through sleepless nights, not eating, uh, not drinking. Just, you know, she saw me lose weight and everything. And she was there the whole time. And from that, you know, things got sort of serious like like boom things got serious serious you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like this trip this trip to be honest with y'all was to come back and to handle a specific situation with her but it wasn't a marriage it was something else we had going on and you know that fizzled out but here we are now and like i said she told me to report over to the uncle with the cola nut and i did what she said so you know and i would just say for any man like in America or anywhere, you know what I mean? There's a lot of beautiful women over here, and they just, you know, we as men, we take it for granted. There's beautiful women in America, too, to take it for mm -hmm. granted. But the culture here is so embedded in the man's happiness. It's like you really can't go wrong here, fellas. You just have to just make up in your mind that you want to do the right thing, and you take it from there. Yeah. So let me ask you something. You want to say, you want to say something? You want to say she don't want to talk at all. Go ahead. So you said something very interesting. You said that the culture in the Gambia is designed to make the man happy. Everything there is designed to make the man happy. That's what I feel like. I feel like these women here have been trained uh, and have been taught. And the culture is that the man is the head of the household. Now, mm -hmm. whether or not the man qualifies for that, that's a different story. Right, uh, man, we got some BS with us, but mm -hmm. overall, it seems to me that if you're doing the right thing and you're taking care of the family and you're providing, that right. you know what I'm saying, you can actually experience heaven on earth. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you got to step up to the plate, fellas. They're gonna give you the benefit of the doubt right off the top because that's the way that they was born and bred. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But if you're a real true man like I am, you can't help yourself but to do the right thing and reciprocate. Like, okay, take care of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, this woman right here, she spends money. You know what I'm saying? For nothing. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, she she type of woman like, oh, I see some sandals I want. I'm like, all right, here, go go get the sandals. And then you know, two days later, she looking for sandals. It's like, well, where's the sandals you just bought? You know what I'm saying? Oh. oh. No, they didn't have. I, I didn't like it, so I got a dress instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when I say she cooks, Don't mind him, Kiki. she cooks, she cleans. You know, she's always checking on me, always rubbing my feet, always making sure I'm okay. You know, I'd like, yo, you can't ask for nothing. You can't ask for nothing else. You know what I'm saying? You know, you really can't. So, do, so from the way you described it, so so the ladies who are listening who, who, who may be interested in dating a Gambian man, so you think, do, do, from your opinion, do you think that would be a good match? Because in our country, it's, our culture is not about making the man happy. It's about making yourself happy. At least I thought that's what it was about. You know, self-happy. Yeah, I mean, if you're happy, then you're going to... If you're happy, then that happiness is going to reflect in your relationship. So, yeah, tell me how you think I that's think, gonna, how would that make how would that work? Do you think it could? Work? I think it's like I think it's like when you go deep down south. Oh, excuse me, deep down south, they have that same type of concept. Well, they do, yeah. yeah, they have that. So, 
would it be a good match? I mean, you got to know and understand that mm-hmm. I went through something here. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really went through something, and uh, I never thought that I would even be in Africa, you know, let alone the Gambia. So I went through something, and my plight is a lot different than most. So mm-hmm. I don't know if many men are going to come here from America and deal with the same turmoil that I went through and then have mm-hmm. somebody like a Bella right mm-hmm. there to comfort you in a certain type of way to let you know that everything is all right. Like she basically, you know what I'm saying, opened and closed the door for me. You know what I mean? And, and I'm not talking about in a state of servitude. I'm talking about in a situation just where like you're going through something and she's giving you the reassurance that everything will be okay. Don't do that. Okay. You don't gotta so, do that. Yeah. Don't worry. God got you. Those type of things. So I don't know if every man from America is going to experience that. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, when you first come, it's a culture shock. Okay. You know what I mean? You got to know and understand where you at, what they represent. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the matter? Okay. okay, you gotta know and understand where you at, what what they represent, how uh-huh. uh, they was a, how they was raised. You gotta right. know and understand that you know um, that this is a very small country, not in the sense of geographical size, but word spreads very fast. Everybody yeah. knows everybody. Uh-huh. I think that, uh, and there's a lot of women here. Single mothers, divorced mothers, mm-hmm. virgins. There's a lot of virgins Virgin. here too. You know, okay. I mean, you know, uh, uh, and they're taken for granted. The mm-hmm. men here, I feel, and I'm not saying all men, but the eligible bachelors probably look past the Gambian women and look for opportunities elsewhere. Why are you think that is? Yeah. Well, you know, you got a lot of opportunity coming. You know, the, the name of the game is. You know, if you can get out the country, then you get out the country. Or if you can have somebody come here and uh, if you have somebody come here and finance your compound, then you do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm learning and I'm noticing a lot. I spoke to some brothers. I spoke to some sisters. And this is something that, you know, it is what it is in terms of. So uh, they play the money game? So they play romance. Of That's of Everybody's movie. looking for an opportunity. Ain't no, it is not a lot of jobs here. First of all, it's not a lot of jobs here. Wow. So uh, you know, if you can, you come up any way, any way that you know how. I mean, I don't blame them, but I just feel <laughs> sorry for the sisters because they're so beautiful. The, mm. the men, it's just like the Gambian men, just you know, look past them. You know, where am I at? Oh and my it's God, for- Man, what, is it all comments? Yeah, Lord have mercy. Can't be all reading? comments. Oh, oh my gosh. Let me let me click on some of these comments. Um, okay, go ahead. Do you want to click on them? I was waving to your queen, Bob. I got you. I'm sorry, brother. Bob. Bob Garvey. He, Bob Garvey's waving at you. Could you please okay. wave back? Thank you. Make, make sure you see your hand. <laughs> the camera there. Wave in the camera, please. Bob Garvey. She's waving back. Oh, global <laughs> green book. My sister's in the building. What's up? Salam and blessings, family. Peace. Uh. Empress, uh, don't forget to, to to hit the like button, please. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit the like button if you if you if you haven't. Uh, congratulations from Detroit. Oh my God, I love Detroit. I love Detroit. I love Detroit. De- Detroit, I love you, Detroit. Believe me when I tell you, I love Detroit. I love Detroit. Detroit, y'all showed me something. Oh, it's almost like coming back to Africa. I promise you, Detroit, I love you. Congrats yeah. from Detroit. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, please. Kiki said, I'm here. <laughs> uh, she said, uh, where's the link? I've been at sent the link, uh, Kiki. Okay. <laughs> Sherry Watts said, uh, at Deborah Green, greetings from Fort Pierce. They're down in Florida. What's going on? Florida got love for us. Uh, congratulations, more blessings on you guys. Thank you. Uh, I don't know, Danso. I'll say that part. Thank you, Danso. Appreciation. Uh, Harmony says, Thanks, Doc. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, Doc. Hit the nail on the head with the baby. Okay. I get quiet on that one. Anyway, uh, Deborah Green says, I'll be going to Mexico first and then about a year from about a year I'm coming to t- going to Tanzania. Okay, Tanzania. Okay. okay. Since you got to let us know about that cuz I'm going to go to Tanzania. What's up? Um 
Garvin Johnson, peace and blessings, Garvin Johnson. How you doing? Congratulations, bro. Black love equals pure love. I agree. Uh, Deborah Price says she's in Dallas, Texas. Say what's up to my man Mike in Dallas, Texas. Uh, Deborah Green, we all good. He's in Dallas too. Uh, Edward Seca says, you really made us proud for marrying such a beautiful queen. The blessings are coming by magnitude. By the magnitude, Allah is surely on the side of the just. Thank you so much, Edward. Appreciation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. Please hit the like button. Hello, Sherry. Um, Deborah Green says, hello at Sherry Watts from Fort Pri uh, Pierce. How are you? Yes. Uh, here we go. Mama Ama said, congrats from Detroit. God bless the marriage. Thank you so much. Sherry Watts says that Deborah Green, I'm great. How are you? Let's keep these comments coming. I appreciate it. All. And then, uh-oh, uh Bob Gary says, hey, Kiki. Hey. We on you. Hey. Yo, we've, been wearing, hey. we've been wearing this color all day. This with this color you got on is like a pink. We've been everybody's been wearing that color. I had it on earlier. I had well, it on you yesterday. Too. You know why don't you? You know why don't you? What? Because no, my spirit what? is already in the Gambia. They know I'm coming. Uh, that's that's I can feel it because pink is my favorite color. Yeah, that's. I what had on is. my pink shirt earlier. She had on my other pink shirt. See, I was talking to somebody earlier. Yeah, in US, they had on a pink shirt. They told me, Oh, we matching. I was like, Oh, I didn't even pay attention. Yeah, that means Kiki on her uh, way. <laughs> uh huh. We can't wait. Uh, what else was this? Deborah Green says, Um, enjoying the warm weather. LOL at Sherry Watts. Harmony says, Leave everything as is. We can hear you. Great, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Sherry Watts says, Deborah Green, I was. In the sea yesterday, Bob Garvey says, uh, is that you in Baka? Baku? Baka? Baka, yeah. Is that me? Is, is that you in where? In, what what in you Baka. mean? That's Baka, New Town. Is that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, you saw me. <laughs> <laughs> you should ask for an autograph. Uh, uh, what is this? Uh, Bella, have a nice smile. Yeah, she do. Smile. Yeah. Get in the camera. Thank Wait a minute. Hold on. Get in the camera right there. Smile. Aww. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, let's see. Deborah Green at Deborah Green. Uh, uh, beautiful Bella. Thank you. Thank you. What else? There's so many comments. Lord have mercy. The whole show is comments. Keep going. Uh, Deborah Green, enjoy Mexico. Uh, Deborah Green says, enjoy Mexico. Oh my God. There's more. There's more comments. Uh, I hope I didn't block nobody just now. Uh, Lord have mercy. Oh, now who is this? I never heard this name before. Ma Marika. How are you doing? Oh, wait, is that? No, that can't be who I'm thinking it is. First time I've clocked you, you happy. Thank you. Please subscribe. Don't forget to su subscribe. Marika. First oh, Marika is in Greece. Look at that. Did you see that? It's in She's where? Marika. Oh, shout out, Greece. shout out to Greece. Hey, I, hey, Marika. You need to read that one. Then. Uh, she says, Marika also says, please pray for for my that I return to Sim. Okay, yes, please, yes, we are praying that you come back to Senegambia. Absolutely. Um, so you've converted, converted to what? What are you talking yes. about? How you know that's what she's talking about? Mm -hmm. God, how, you, how you how can I convert to Muslim? I've been a Muslim before I came out my 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 daddy's uh yeah. Anyway, uh sounds like a Greek name. Yes, Marika says I'm a white European single mom and I'm dying out here. I beg you pray I get back to Senegambia. Yes, we pray that you get back. Yes, 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 you will, yes. Marika. Uh, you will. Yeah, she also says to Bob Harvey, she's Greek. Uh, huh, Big John? Uh, what else are you saying? Let's let the missus talk. She can talk. Uh, see, you're getting me in trouble. You would ask her a question. No, no, no. Ask her a question. We can't wait to hear from the ladies. Yes, I, I can't wait either. Uh, Bob Harvey says, uh, Marika, oh, because I'm familiar with that. Similar name from my workplace. Y'all need to talk on um, a side note. Uh, Bob got, yeah, y'all having a side conversation. <laughs> let's get this one. Uh, let's go. TK says, so he didn't know he was getting married. 
No. No, I didn't know. No, I didn't know I was getting married. Of I did not. You know. I did, how did I know? I knew after you told me. <laughs> We've been talking about it. We've been gathering information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when was the date that we set? If we was get... Wednesday. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> We talk about it on Wednesday. Why are you acting so shy? <laughs> you want to go eat? Go eat. Yeah, go ahead. Go 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 eat. She's what did she go, cook? Go eat. She didn't cook. I cooked curry chicken. Oh, you did tell me you was cooking I, curry chicken. I, yeah, I cooked curry chicken. You want to put it on the plate? Bring it over here. Let everybody see how I'm getting down. Uh, what else is in here? Yeah. Germany. Thank you. God bless. Da, 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 da. Uh, TK says, you know, Africans don't share their life in public like that. <laughs> uh, hey, she, she got she got TikTok and all that. Right. So, uh -uh, don't get on there like that. It's gonna fall. Put it on the put it on the chalkboard. Yeah. Uh, I'm flying on the 19th of May to Gambia for two months. Word, Kiki. We might have to extend. There's a lot of people coming after we leave. I know. I noticed that. But that's all right. It's all good. It's all good. I'm, I'm there when I'm supposed to be there. That's how I look at it. I'm there when yeah. I'm supposed to be there. And I'm supposed be to be there Friday, Saturday. I think I get there Saturday. I leave Friday. I get there Saturday. Godspeed. Read it, John. I can't hear it. I did read I, I was, You was talking. So I normally fly one, two, or three times to give me a year. Mm -hmm. We're not living normally times nowadays. What do you do for a living, uh, Bob Gari? Let me know. I'm trying to come up. You can't hit and run in the game yet. <laughs> no, That's you funny. can't hit and run uh, nowhere. Uh, you can hit run in Legos, but you can't hit and run nowhere. Uh, yeah, right. And Harmony, ha, ha. Y'all are taking over. Car Carmen Jones is in the building. What's up? She's beautiful. And yes, you are a good man. So I'm so happy for you. Uh, best of happiness and joy. Was you about to heat that up? You heated that up right there? Okay, cool. Hey, Carmen Jones, where you at? This? Um, caveman, he just put some emojis up there. Bob Garvey says, Sure, the future is Africa, and Africa is the future, but time will tell. Uh, yeah, how many clock? She says, That is when you went to fix the gas. That when you went to fix the gas, I guess. Wow, oh, it's, still, it's still a million comments in here. She, she, somebody says, "What's her surname?" She's a Kita. Kita. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's part of the Kita tribe family. Uh, Tell us what ethical group that is. What's that? You, don't, you, uh, I don't need that. Uh, so I got a question. Don't leave that heated too. You don't need to be heated too long. They don't need to be heated up too long either. He says, do you love her? Yes, I love her. Yes, he sure okay, does. Tom, are you on Facebook? Yes. You can find me. Um, you can find me on Facebook at uh under John Luckett. I got about 10 Facebook pages. John Luckett, <laughs> fulfillment of our soul, uh helping the black man in America. Uh, fuck, Trump, fuck Trump sneakers. I got my own sneaker, y'all. Um, what else? There's a there's a whole bunch. Just, just Google JDL power cleaning, JDL pressure washing. We all over that camp. Okay. Somebody said I'm yeah. in love, but do you love her? Yes, I love her. Once again, TK. TK, are you a man or woman? Right. Uh, I don't know. I can't tell by the comments what, what that person is. Yeah, Betson B says, look like your cousin. You really look like brother and sister. <laughs> yeah. It be like that when you be around people sometimes. Bob right. in the island. Crete. Yes. Bob, Bob uh, what do you do for a living, please? Uh, D. Jones in the building. What's up, D. Jones? D. Jones says, this is the guy who crying over another woman a free, few weeks ago. Uh, I don't think it was a few weeks ago. I think it might have been months ago. ago. Yeah. I, don't, was I was not necessarily ago. crying. Right. I wasn't necessarily crying over her, but I was very upset at, at, at what was taking place. Because right. it was putting me in a bad space. And you know, exactly. I don't want to be in a bad space. So no, exactly. I, I, I wasn't crying over her. No, not at all. But thank you. Uh, she is nervous. That's okay. I'm happy for y'all. Thank you. 
Uh, Marika says that D Jones. <laughs> uh, okay, once visited. Next, so okay, y'all need to talk on the sidebar. <laughs> oh, Boston in the house. What's going on? Uh, Patricia says Bella put extra dressing on the on the wound. She was not playing with John. Yes, she did. Thank you. What's up, B? What's up, Boston? What's going on? All the way out there from the Columbia Point in the building. Uh, all this. She said at Jones the last week. Global Green Book. What's up, Empress? Empress says every single man I know who went over married a what? Every single man. I want to see. I want to see what, what 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 is going on over here as far as food. I don't know if I can. Let me show y'all. Oh, that looks good. And, and cucumbers. Oh, I'm coming over to your house when I get there. Mm, <laughs> you're going to eat for days. For days. Do you hear you know, me? Let me tell y'all something funny. You know, this, you know in Africa, in Gambia, it's funny because we was doing our, our exercise and Bella, I was talking and Bella seen something, some food stuck in my tooth. Now in America, somebody said you got something in your teeth or whatever. Mm -hmm. She actually went in my mouth and pulled the food out of my tooth. I'm like, oh wait a minute, hold on. But I said, yo, only went went in Gambia, do like the Gambians. Ooh, you know that ain't happening in America. You know that ain't happening here. Oh, and is she feeding you too? Oh shoot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You putting me to shame, girl. <laughs> Okay, so I got a question. So some men, I'm going to just keep it real with you, okay? Some men mm -hmm. will take uh, Bella's um, empathetic Back in the Gambia, ways, yes. Her empathetic ways, because I would say she's very empathetic. They would take her empathetic ways and her sincerity, okay? And they would, they would misconstrue that as servitude, okay? So tell me, explain it in a way where it's different than ser what you're describing is not servitude. So, cause some men will think, oh, I'm gonna go to the Gambia, get me a pretty woman. Cause them women are beautiful. Go get me a beautiful woman and they're nice and sweet. Okay. They're, I'm telling y'all, I've been to Cameroon. I've been in Nigeria. I got friends all over Africa. Gambian women, Gambian people are very nice people. Okay. So tell me, explain it in a way to your fellow brothers that empathy is not servitude. So if you want to serve it, I don't think you should come to the Gambia. I think you should you know, look someplace else for that. But I need you to explain that to them because what I got was that she was empathetic. But I'm sure some people will misconstrue that, like I said, for servitude because somebody mentioned that in there, in the comments. So go ahead. Well, I, th I think that first of all, you have to put yourself in a, good position you you got to know and understand like i came to the gambia and i just wasn't like a tourist you know what i'm right. saying i engage the people mm -hmm. on the level that they on like mm -hmm. if you're rich i engage you like a human being like a poor person i engage a per poor person the same way and mm -hmm. if you looked at the channels like i was here you know engaging the people and helping the people and i think it put me on a certain level like mm -hmm. oh nah he's he, he's one of us. He just don't come to, like, exploit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not here to exploit. He's here mm -hmm. to add on to us, bring his knowledge. You know, it was a lot of situations where, like, I was uh, in a working situation and the people are coming to me instead of going to their boss. And I'm saying, wait, well, hold on. Or there's other guests there and they're coming to me instead of going to the servant. I'm like, no, 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 mm -hmm. I don't work here. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not who you're looking for. And you go, so, yo, but then I end up taking care of it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I think that the first thing first, as men, we have to we have to qualify ourselves to be ready to receive a woman exactly this magnitude or, or yeah. anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like, oh, she wants to be my slave, but mm -hmm. she has she has eyes to see and she could see and understand that she want to be a part of something great. And mm -hmm. I represented that, whether mm -hmm. I did it on purpose or I was just being myself. 
whether I was being calculated or I was just going with the flow. So I think that coming to the Gambia, it allowed me to be my true self. It allowed yeah. me to express myself in a certain type of way that made it very acceptable for not only Bella, but any woman that wants to experience a true man to be able to step up to the plate. Because even after we're married, the women are still trying to present themselves to me. Yeah. We don't say no Right. You know what I'm saying? They like, yo, look, hey, you know, I want to see what that's all about. And right. Bella's on that. She's like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Let me tell you right now. She's she's up on her, she ain't, she ain't going for it. Uh, she ain't going for it. So you can't Did come you into it like. Um, Did you guys talk about that? Did you guys talk about multiple uh, wives? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about it. On the surface, she's okay with multiple wives, but deep down, she don't want to share. You know what I'm saying? No woman really want to share, but once you qualify yourself and you take that step yes. towards the union, you it's all about them. whatever you want. And she's like, look, is that what you want? If that's what you want, okay. But you know what I'm saying? You got to know and understand that there's going to be some problems. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some friction and all mm -hmm. that. She let me know exactly what it is. And I was like, well, what happens? She was like, look, you can have up to four wives. And each mm -hmm. wife get two days, two, 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 two. I said, but what if you get to a situation where one of the wives, you know, want to uh, take extra days and then yeah. it's a conflict. And then however it boils over, it boils over and let the best, best woman win. Right. Now, I haven't experienced anything like that. And that's, I'm just telling you what, what was told to me. So mm -hmm. uh, qualify so yourselves, happens? men. What happens in that huh? situation? So what if you what what so this is the thing about multiple marriages in 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 the Holy Quran it says you can only have multiple wives if you can love them equally and provide for them equally, okay? You have to treat them the same. You cannot love one more than the other. You cannot give one more than the other. And just like you just said, what if you feel in one more than you feel in the other one that day? You know what I'm saying? Already, you disqualify the right to even have it. As the man, you got to be fair and impartial. You can't so how can have you favoritism. Do you think that's possible? Do you think I, I think, as a human think, that you could love more than one woman equally? You can love them okay. equally and you can provide equally. Do you think as a human man that you can do that? As a, as a Muslim man, Growing up in a Muslim way of life, Muslim uh -huh. culture, I think that, yeah, you could do it. As okay. a man coming from America, hell no, you can't do it. As a man coming from, from you, have, I think you'd have to be 80 years old and not focused on certain types of things. But only a, only a Muslim that, that, that's that been a Muslim for all his life and came up in the culture Mm -hmm. and came up in the religion, I think, and maintain that. You have to be a very strong man. You know what I'm saying? You have to be a mm -hmm. very, very, very strong man to, to well, be yeah. able to do that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. nah. Now, I talk a good game, and I mm -hmm. say I want nine wives and everything like that, but mm -hmm. you know, push comes up. You just got to deal with the one that you got first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then I, 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 she has to go out and get the next one. That's, I think, the way it needs to be. She needs to go out and get the next one. Well, you know, I've you got know. A, friend, a lot of close friends who had um, who grew up in polygamous households, okay? One was from Senegal and one was from Mallory. And both of them yeah. told me they didn't want a second wife. They didn't want a third wife. They didn't want a fourth wife because they grew up in a polygamous household and they saw how it made their mother feel. And when they talked about how their mother felt when he wouldn't even, like on his day to be with her, he couldn't eat dinner with you. He would have to eat dinner with that family. So you're sitting over here with your mom and your siblings, you know, and your dad is with the other wife. And, you know, they were both telling me the same thing, that after seeing what their moms went through and how they felt as children having to deal with that, that they would never practice polygamy. They felt like that was cruel. That was cruel to even put a woman and children women and children in that situation. And that was two two males who grew up in polygamous household, one from Senegal, one from Mali, and they told me both the same thing. And to this day, they do not have multiple wives. They have one wife at a time. They don't do multiple, they don't do multiple wives, multiple relationships. So I think, you know, like they were telling me, it's a preference. It's really what that person, it's on that person, what they desire. 
And like you said, you feel like you can handle that and you desire that, then that's okay because that's what you can do. But again, if they can they can only do it if they can do it the way the Quran orders them to do it. If not, they're in uh, they're, you know, it's uh, forbidden, basically. And I don't know how I, I just don't know how people can do that. I don't know how somebody can love unless it's your children. Sarah! Oh my god, John Sarah is only Sarah, I miss you. What's she doing? Who is she? Is she coming in? I don't know. She's is she coming in? Yeah, she can see her. Come on. Oh, she probably can't. Y'all, you guys see her have the baby. She's in the comments. And I miss her so much. Where is she at? I don't see her. Marie Monologues. Oh, Marie's Monologue. Oh, Marie's Monologue. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for Sarah. Marie. What's up, Sarah? You know I'm mad at you. I ain't seen no baby. I ain't seen no breastfeeding going on or nothing. You just left a brother yeah. out here, man. You know, she said she breastfeeds. Oh, I'd be so glad when you come back. We miss you. We miss you, Sarah. We miss you, Sarah. We miss you. So I have some good questions for us to ask, Sarah. Okay, so I'm finish. You said uh, so. That's what they were saying about polygamy. So do you think uh, so? Do you think it's a cultural thing? Do you think it's up to the person, or what do you think? Those men just couldn't handle it. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. Mm -mm. I don't know. I can only speak for myself. Like, right, that's true. I've been in situations where you know I have multiple women, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to brag or nothing like that, but that's a full-time job. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I said, I, I think for you to do it openly, I feel like for yeah. you to do it openly and to do it the right way. You have to grow up in that culture. You just can't be like, oh, I'm deciding to have multiple wives and let everybody know about it and everybody's in agreement. I mean, when it all boils down to it, it boils down to just telling the truth. If you can tell the truth and everybody's on the same page, I think that, you know, you have happily um, ever after. I think it all boils down to doing it the way that it was instructed to do it. And that's provide for the women equally. Because there's no way the women should be living in the same house. I know men here in my city, we practice the lady. Mm -hmm. And you know, they have two women living in the same house. Mm -hmm. And some of them live in apartments. Can you believe that? Two bedroom apartments. Wow. One room for one room. And, 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 and the women going for this, though. They going for this because they believe in this is Islam because they don't take the time to see and study for themselves. They believe what somebody has told them and somebody has told them a lie. And they are living like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, she said, my dad said his dad had multiple wives. He didn't say his mom minded, but he please, said his please take these away. Take these away. That's what I'm telling you. See, Sarah said his grandfather had multiple wives. If the dad didn't remember the mom's fighting, but he does remember the kids, mm. the wife and his sister fighting a lot. And that's what, that's what the guy told me. That he would fight mm -hmm. with the stepmom all the time. All the time. They mm -hmm. did not get along. And that's why I'm saying, why would you put, you know, it's, this is not a good situation for people. I know who grew up like that in Africa, they don't recommend it. I don't know. I don't even see them practicing it. I don't even see them married to African women. They're American women, actually, because they just, I, can't, I don't know why they're with American women. I'm just saying they're not even with African they got away from that. Yeah. They didn't want anything to do with that culture. Yeah. That part of that culture. I, that part of I think it's the internet. I believe it's the internet that's killing, killing the structure. The women are women. Women look at the internet and see how they can act and behave. That's true. And like, yeah. That's and the then world. she was saying, you know, sister. This is another issue. Okay, Sarah was saying with multiple wives. Okay, it's usually. The first wife is older, the second wife is younger, the third wife is younger, the fourth wife is younger. So they all get younger. Let's get younger. You're younger and younger. Listen, listen, okay. call me selfish. Call me selfish. Call me crazy, whatever. But I would love to have nine wives. I'm just telling, I just want to see what it's like. And do what? What would you tell me? What would you do with nine well, wives? Well, 
Tell me, what would a day in the well, life? I was taught. I was taught. I was taught that the black man is is uh, the same as the sun, and the sun maintains nine planets in its solar system. So, okay. I would just maintain the planets. You know what I'm saying? Any, any way I come, I could. Some planets are hotter than others. So but, you would just have the sun, like the, how the sun just has the planets in its atmosphere. You would just have them in your atmosphere. But the planets. Yeah, but everybody would serve a purpose. What's that? Yeah, because the planets, you know, they all kind of do their own Not thing. They don't kind of, they don't kind of wait for the sun to tell them what to do. Or you know they're not bound to the sun like in a relationship. Of course they, of course they wait for the sun to tell them what to do, because they're all caught up in the gravitational pull of the sun. So you got to understand that the sun is so hot when that mm -hmm. light illuminates, this is what keeps everything in orbit. It keeps everything in orbit. Like, what, what, that okay. one, our one sun. But look, our one sun is just a star. There's I know all the many stars out there, but they're all working in conjunction together. So it shows you that brighter. listen, we can have unity. And we can maintain a degree of civil, civil, civilness, mm -hmm. uh, civility if if we just focus on our one sun. So yeah, so they all wait for the sun for their next instruction. Because what if the light starts shining? You're gonna have chaos and planets crashing into each other because that's true. It's too dark. The it's so, sun. Home. so you should be the sun in so, your own universe. I am the sun in my in my universe. You're right, I am, but I still have to maintain and and do things according to a divine, a divine spirit, a divine being, a, divi a higher understanding. I just can't be up. But see, that's what's wrong today. Men, women, children, mm -hmm. you know, politics and everything. Everybody's trying to do their own thing. And nobody is uh, respecting the next person and then operating out of darkness. Triple states the darkness. And that's why you got everybody colliding with everybody. Nobody's, right. Nobody is doing anything according to divine order. But that's right. another, another topic, you know. Mm -hmm. So okay, so you so so even though you know you you so I want to make sure I understand this. So you saying even though you know it's a problem for Bella, you probably will end up with a second wife. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in, in a perfect world, I guess that I would like to experience nine wives, but. But you're not yeah, gonna I'm, do I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I come from I come from America, you know what I'm saying? And it just it just you know it's not realistic. And I don't wanna I don't wanna cause problems. I just want a lot right. of babies though. I, you know, I want a lot of children. I would I would love to have I would love to have nine children a year. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the only way I can resurrect myself is through the birth of my children. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know what I mean. Peace, peace, Bob Hall. We'll catch you next week, my brother. Thank you. We appreciate you Bye, hanging out with us. Bob Garvey. Yeah. It was so, good to talk to you again. We didn't really you know, get to I'm, talk on the photo, but see you look, later. Look, we, we I'm being still waiting for you because I ain't even did. I ain't really went nowhere. I ain't met nobody. I oh, just no, got married. Good. And I'm just waiting for you to come so we can really get, get it popping. You know what I'm saying? I'll Word be here so, I'll be here Saturday. No, did you, you already did your COVID Saturday. situation, right? I'll be you, in the building. You already did, well, you already did, did your COVID situation? Oh, uh, yeah. I did, I did that this morning. I did a video about it. Uh -huh. I didn't get a chance to post it. I was tired. We, we, was looking at, we was looking at your other video, you know, but every time, you know, it's always something going on over here. We got to go. We got to run. We got to go to sleep. You know what I'm Man. saying? We've been up. We we went out to uh Jew Frey. I've been trying to edit this video of Jew Frey. We got other video. I'm gonna put the video up of us racing so y'all can yeah, tell me who was the winner of us racing. Because I don't yeah. think it was you. That I doubt. I doubt if you won. <laughs> Why you think I ain't got no speed? Wait, mom, let me show you something. You I think Bella probably I'm strong, to strong over this joint. Strong. Yeah, Bella, yo, she surprised me. I ain't gonna lie. I thought when I said go that she was just gonna stand still. She was gonna uh uh this cat broke John. Ain't no I am from the Gambia, man. I never know. Who, <laughs> Who? they be talking? Look, 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 look. This cat broke John ain't no Muslim. <laughs> Why you say that? How, how, how you know? I just wanted oh. to know. How you know, Dan? Dan, you know me? I didn't know you knew me. You, you, you didn't know. Wait a minute. Hold on. You didn't know my name was Al Sadiq? Oh, okay. Well, 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 ask me what's my name, and you know, I'll break something down for you. It's no problem. Wow. <laughs> they have no idea. You know what I'm saying? They have no idea. Yeah. 
That was we nice. love you all the same. What are you going to do with nine wives, boy? You crazy. <laughs> Food travel business. Listen, I just I just said it. Like, I want to have a bunch of kids. You know what I'm saying? So well, you Mr. Know. Blackman says, I'm from the Gambia and I never knew anyone with nine wives. So he thinks that that's impossible. Also, uh, Marie yeah, Secret I says, I personally, it's not for me. I know for a fact I require way too much attention and I have to be spoiled and I can't even have kids that aren't mine. <laughs> so she couldn't Listen, do it. Listen, then. Dan Diablo, <laughs> Diablo said that you used to them PG County ratchets, John. What PG what? County ratchets are you talking about? Used to the PG. I'm used what to the P. Prince George's PG County, County, County in, in Maryland. Ratchet. That's what he's talking about. Okay, Prince That's George's what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm used to the ratchets. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that I don't know. I have. I don't think I've dealt with any women that don't have a college degree. And it's not even by design. You know what I'm he saying? He said ratchets. I just got that owner. ratchets. I help the community and all that other stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm not used to the ratchet. You know? Do you know, you know, you know what? You know what it is, though? What? There are a lot of prominent, educated women that want to be ratchet. They want that. They want to they wanna live that. Uh, what's the name of that show? That real ratchet show? I, don't, I can't stand it. All of them. Which one? Housewives. Well, Basketball like, wives, yeah, all of them. Uh, loving hip hop. There's a yeah. lot of women that want to do that loving hip hop thing. I know. Hey, do you know that? somebody got mad at me? Listen, listen, Kiki. I, do, do you know somebody got mad at me today because I got married? They out there doing whatever they want to do, lying and all this other bull. But they gonna get mad at me. Don't call me no more. Don't call me no more. Unless it's yeah, you know, unless it's life or death. And I was like, what? What did I do? What did I do wrong? What is it? Uh, yeah, go enjoy your new woman and all this. And I'm like, wow, it's like that. We supposed to be family. Family members too. Like, like all the women, yo, the women in my family, they are upset. They wow. are upset. Oh, Maybe yeah, they ain't having this. They're like, oh. Uh -uh. Nah, Maybe what, what is there to tell? Yourself. Well, they wanted to know. They wanted to be brought in on a decision. You know, just find it out on YouTube. Listen, who is Dan? Who is Dan? Dan must know me. You stalking me, Dan? I, I saw you down there by Southern Maryland Hospital, uh, scoping them ratchets. <laughs> First of all, I was down. I was down there supporting a friend because I couldn't go in Dan, and visit. So I Dan. sat outside and waved at them through the window. Hello. <laughs> Who is Lord that? Damn, click on the link. I don't know. He I don't know. click I don't on the link and come on. Activity is real popular. Yeah, it Ratchetivity is. Activity is real. But, yeah, of course it is. It is. They all this is happy, John. True Talk says, uh, uh, Dan, click on KMT. the link. Please. KMT, a uh, bunch of selfish users can't even take care of yourself, but you have nine wives. Okay. What? I, I can take care of myself. What's KMT? Uh, bunch of what is KMT? I, I don't know. A bunch uh, of self you just can't even take care of yourself. I don't. What know. you need nine uh, one. Jamila what? Jamila says this is so personal. Uh, Sarah says you went to the Gambia and got married. That's why you did, Big John. You went to the Gambia <laughs> and got married. That's what you did. That's what happened. It wasn't a plan, though. Um, he's telling all his business, LOL. Okay. <laughs> she said, um, damn, damn. Damn, damn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Stop fronting. You was on your way to Iverson Mall. This, 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 this must you be somebody know. that told me play the game. Yeah, I, I don't I, They just sit here on a... Stop they hiding, man. Tell who you, you are, man. Too. You a fan? No Stop playing. A random person. Mm -hmm. So many angry people on the comments. Wish you brothers happiness. It's all good. Oh, yeah, it's all good. It's all, we ain't worried about that. You know what I'm saying? We here. Y'all watching us? We ain't even worried about it. I know. What's the you, you eating cashew nuts? Mm -hmm. I want to kiss your cheek, not your lips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How sweet is that? Look at that. Uh, John got me 
got me got yes, John got yes, me playing yes, yes. why you want to play hate on me <laughs> why you want to play on me are you still hurting because Molly don't sell moles to you huh what what, 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 what where are you coming from with that? Yeah, please click the I, I, wait a minute. First of all, wait a minute, John. Wait, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, hold on. This is so funny. This 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 must be are the person that stopped. Because Mo Molly Look. didn't sell most two to you. Hmm. That's I never wanted most two. Oh, wait, That's wait, that? oh here we go. Yeah, there was a rumor. There was a rumor that I was all upset and I left Gambia because Molly wouldn't sell me Mo two. But why First wouldn't he? All, sell it? I never, I never wanted Mo tools. But why and wouldn't he? It was it to never. You, but why that's the whole. I mean, was, somebody made no. Somebody made this up. We was in a we was in a business deal. We had a, something on the table. We was just talking. It wasn't even okay. nothing. That's my brother. I just seen him the other day. We sat and talked. Okay. But of course, the 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 subscribers somehow figured out and. Came up with something like, oh, me and him had some kind of disagreement. We've never had a disagreement. Uh, I don't got no ill feelings towards him or his wife or nothing. We we just been cool. That's all. I go over there, I eat, I support. And we had something that we was about to do a business, but it had nothing to do with Mo too. You know what I'm saying? So I had to come out and be like, yo, first of all, I don't know where y'all coming from. Mo Molly's my brother. And I'm, you know, nah, that's not why I got to go back to America, you know. But they come up with what they want to come up with. But me... And Molly is cool. I ain't got no beef with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here just, oops, sorry. I'm over here living my best life. So later for that person, John got me playing. Why are you playing on hating the player hating on me? Why are you hating on me? Uh, give me a jar of rice. What's going on? Are you still hurting because Molly? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. No. Where we at? So, you really what business opportunity do you want to invest in the game? Okay, so, so crazy enough, within the last few days, I had three or four people contact me about property over here uh -huh. from uh, the Sport. So I got, I'm in with the real estate people already. So that seems like that might be my lane to go ahead on and do that. But at this compound, this woman right here, you can go back. <laughs> She's going to open up a local kitchen. The beauty, salon. beauty salon and maybe we might do some car detailing over here uh you know so those are the business opportunities i'm looking to 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 invest in because the property's already paid for and you know i will be going back to america i got so much business uh i'm gonna be so busy i'll probably work for a whole month straight and then just retire <laughs> i still gotta go to mississippi i still gotta get to mississippi yeah, land situated. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. Don't forget, we going with you. Then, okay, oh, y'all going to Mississippi? Hold, hold on, I'm gonna let y'all. Uh, Big John, you got a stalker. That's scary. Here, I'm, I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let Bella talk while I go over this way. You got. You got to get in the screen. So you probably want to see. You. Okay, so I'm gonna keep reading the comments while y'all. Yeah. What? Okay, talk about the business opportunity. African Queen is saying African Queen, congrats. Uh, no. Deborah Green okay. says people in here are just jealous and trying to smear crazy nonsense because you are now married and happy. Live and love, John. Exactly. Big John, you got a stalker. That's crazy. Then Dan says, hey, Dan. Will you be investing in bags, pipe dream? <laughs> oh my God, Dan, you just killing them all. Damn, damn, Dan, damn. Now you're talking about Rick and Cynthia. Okay, uh, Mr. Blackman says, I'm definitely rooting for Mr. John. Thank you, Mr. Blackman. Okay, uh, Swag Nation says, John got stamps on his passport. Yep, we sure do. Uh, Marie Monologue says, put the link. It's at the top. John, put the link up. Sierra, go all the way up to the top. Right to the beginning. Did and you'll see you it. put the link up. Sierra, tell him Sierra trying to come on, Bella. And Marika. Hi, Sarah. Says, 
Joe Love sisters, I miss you at the football owner. She's we forgot Marika, you having private conversations. <laughs> Sorry, girl. We don't be we don't mean to read your private conversations. Okay, uh African Queen says real estate and culture are the best mm -hmm. investments in the Gambia. Thank you for Sarah. Sarah want to come. Okay, uh Black Love says hashtag black love from Jamila. Okay, um yeah, Bella. So how do you feel, Bella? Like in your new home and your new life and gosh, everything happened so quickly. Does it feel funny? Do you feel like different? Very happy. Excited. <laughs> um, you look so I happy. So happy. Happen. I'm so, I'm so, so happy, happy for you. Mm. What'd you say, Bella? Hmm? What did you say? I said, I'm so happy. <laughs> very, very happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does your mommy say? She's so happy, too. I think she's mm -hmm. more than me, more than happy. Yeah. <laughs> I know she is. Yes, because that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. That is really a big deal, and I'm, I'm so happy for you. I am really happy uh, for you. So, uh, were you nervous? Like, when it was time, were you scared? Were you nervous? What were you thinking? I was, yes, I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't tell you looked beautiful. So, Bella, when, when, mm. the, when the ladies have their little, their separation from the men, what are you guys talking about? What do you guys do in your, like, when you were separate from John, what was going on with you? What were you doing? Um, getting my dress ready, going to the salon to have my makeup and my hair done, do my nails. Oh, talk to my friends. Yeah. So while he's with the with the men, you the ladies are just getting dressed. Yeah, yeah. And preparing everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So your uncle that was a hundred, the elder, the one that was a hundred, I think John said. Does he live? No, John said you guys went to his place, right? Yes. That he lived. He, does he live far from you guys? Was it far out? Is it like in a village not or is it in the city? Yeah, just in the city, not far from me. Oh, okay. Like, um, 10, 10, 15 minutes drive from my house. 10, 15 minutes drive. Oh, that's not too bad at all. Oh, okay. That's really good. How so, is Sarah and the baby doing? She trying to come in. She's busy, Bella. I don't even get a chance to talk to her anymore. Okay. She's trying to get. Yeah. Let me try to copy this link. Um, he put but, a link on. Oh, he did. I'm trying to put it on here now. See if I can get it on here. Okay, Sarah. Uh, did it work? You okay. Yeah. So okay, Sierra, so try the link now. It's on there. Okay, if anybody wants to come on the show and talk to us and talk about uh, any, you know, ask John and Bella a question, please feel free to click on the link. So, uh, oh, oh, that's <laughs> I'm still breastfeeding, so I'm trying to like strategically angle. Oh, <laughs> Hi. Oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, and look, you guys, there's the baby. Hi, Ja. Hi, man. They like, leave me alone. I'm eating. Go, go uh, turn on sleep music, okay? I just can't believe it. Tell John. Oh, 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 oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> hey, baby. Happy okay, marriage. Okay, go turn on sweet Happy music. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Oh, of my course. God. How is the baby doing? He's doing good. We call him little guy because he's a little, he's tiny, but he's doing oh, good. Oh, <laughs> Eating. Oh, he look hungry. Yeah, I was gonna say he's eating right now, so that's why I'm trying to mm -hmm. 
strategically oh, angled God. so y'all don't get no nipple. <laughs> What's his name? His name is Ja. Oh, John. No, no. Ja. J A A. Ja. 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 What you say? Look, listen to it. No, not John. Ja. It's Ja. Oh, ja. 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 J H J A H. That's the same thing. Yep. <laughs> yes, beautiful name. Beautiful yes. name. I just wanted to say congratulations to you and John Lobella on oh, your beautiful you, wedding. Sarah. You look so pretty. Thank yeah. You. You You're beautiful. welcome. And I like yeah. your new hair, Key. I like the braids. You look like you're ready to go to the Gambia. I see you. I am. I am. I'm going to miss you. Oh, gosh. I miss you so much, Sarah Marie. It's just unbelievable. I miss you too, Key. So it's busy. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. It's just funny how people become a part of your life. I mean, just like we talk all the time. All Literally the time. all day. All right. the time. Right. Man. So I'm glad to see you, though, but I see you're really busy. Yeah, it's I was busy. about to say, I'm about to hop off of here. I got to okay. go put the big ones to bed. Yeah. It was good to see you, though. Love you guys. Have Love a good you. night. Bye. 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 You get on? <laughs> That's what yeah. I wanted to say. Bye. Getting me excited over here, girl. Bye, John. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, yep, that's his name, Marika Ja, J A H. Yep, that's Sarah's new baby boy. That's the new addition to our family, everybody. So, look, y'all. Um, yes. What did, what did you say about um, John having nine wives? What are you talking Girl, about? He not having nine wives, Bella. He, he just talking trash. He not mm -hmm. having two wives. All he got to do is get mad. He not doing nothing. That's all. Yeah. He keep on saying, I don't want to make Bella mad. I don't want to make Bella mad. <laughs> 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 he just, uh, he uh, just talking. Just one. He Only talking one. to hear That's himself me. talk, Bella. He ain't got no. He ain't thinking about no nine wives. He know he ain't. Mm, I know. <laughs> he thinking about Bella, and I'm so happy. I can't wait to come to you guys' house for dinner. I oh, cannot wait to win. come over and just hang out at you guys' house. It's gonna be so nice. Mm -hmm. Make some <laughs> African food together. Yes. It's going to be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Bella, ask John what else does he want to do. Tell him it's, we've been on here for an hour and 37 minutes. I'm tired. I got to get ready to go to the Gambia. <laughs> <laughs> John, are we it's done? Are we up? What's going cool? We've been here one hour. He said he's one hour and 37 minutes. One hour and 37 minutes. Come on, I gotta go pack. I gotta repack yeah. again. Mm. See when I go repack on. again. Let's end the show. She's coming. Um, he's coming. Everybody, I'm sorry to rush off tonight, but you know, tomorrow is Thursday. It's my last day home. So I need to go to bed and get up early because tonight I want to repack because I don't want to forget stuff. I want to make a list of the last things I need to get. So I just need to really get off here, go to bed, and get up tomorrow to get everything I need to get done. And Thursday, I mean Friday, then I get on the plane. And I am so excited. I cannot believe it. I cannot. I like your blouse. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Africa. You over here late night eating. I know. I can't wait to late night eat over y'all. We over here late night eating and stuff. I'm going to be over there late Home night eating. Too. Don't worry. I'm going to be over there late night eating, late night sipping, late night everything. Y'all going to say, Kiki, go home. It's time for you to go home. <laughs>
So look, John. Mm -hmm. Let's go. I'm hot. I'm tired. I got to get ready. It's one hour and 40 minutes. I need to, uh, right, well. you know how you got to do stuff before you got to go. Get ready to get, I got to get up out this country. <laughs> so I got to, uh, no. I got a lot to do tomorrow. And uh, I want to make sure I don't forget anything. I want to repack my suitcase tonight. I'll probably repack mm -hmm. it tomorrow. I changed my place where I'm staying. You know, remember where I was staying? I'm not staying there anymore. I found this oh, really, really good. Yeah, no, I'm not. No. I found a really nice place uh, in the community. I was looking forward, I was looking forward to that spot. Yeah. I, I was kind of looking forward to it, but then it was too touristy. I don't like being mm -hmm. a tourist. And I don't like feeling like a tourist. And when I was looking at the videos of the place, I was seeing all these European people. And I'm like, wait a minute, why am I seeing all these European people on the beach in Africa? And then it hit me because you're staying at a tourist destination. So you're going to be around a lot of, you know, European people. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't go to Africa for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I won't go all the way to Africa to look out the window and see Europeans on the beach. So I couldn't handle that. So um, I found a really nice place inside the city. You know, and it's okay. smaller. It's more like a bed and breakfast. And it's yeah. really nice. So, yeah, I switched that up. Because I just can't, I can't do I can't go to Africa and kick it with the Europeans, y'all. Something inside my soul will not allow me to do that. So I was just like, no, nah, I'm not staying there. I don't even want to kick it any place they kick it, for real. You know, I'm just, I don't want to go to Africa and kick it. I don't kick it with Europeans in the United States. So I'm not going to go to Africa and kick it with them. It's just not not what I do. It's just not what I do. So I have I to find you. a place. You know, I like to like go out in the streets and walk around the neighborhood and kick it with the people in the neighborhood, make friends, talk to people. That place was not, none of that was happening. <laughs> none, of the, none of that was happening. So I was just like, mm -hmm. no. So first time I went to Africa, Cameroon, it was like a tourist. And I didn't like that at all because you miss out so much, so much. So ever since then, when I go to Africa, I don't go as a tourist. I go as a local. I try to get in with the locals. Yeah. Right. So I'll let you know what's what well, we got. Gambian Stone Circle says, well, Kiki, there are Europeans and African, including the game. I don't care. Yes, there are. And guess what? Kiki loves Nigeria, lives in the United States of America. And guess what? There's Europeans here. There's white people. Well, they're not Europeans. They're white Americans. So I see white people every day, all day. So I'm not going to pay thousands of dollars to go kick it with white people. So mm. They can be there, but Amen. Kiki loves Nigeria. is not going to kick up with them. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, let's see. Congratulations to John and his new wife. Uh, Sira says, oh, Prophet Encounters with Nicole J says, congratulations to you and your new wife. She is fire. And uh, Marie Monologue, Sira says, Dan, you better quit coming at my brother. <laughs> Gonna write some checks you can't cash. <laughs> Dan, John, what's up with your meditation channel on YouTube? Oh my God, Dan! <laughs> somebody I know, somebody I know, or he down, he down with that other that other person. He must, he must be down with that other chick. Who? She must have hired. She must have hired him to to come at me like that. Dan is clowning, man. Dan is clowning. Dan is acting silly, y'all. Dan, <laughs> Dan is just clowning. Wow, I don't believe him. That is so funny. Okay, and then Mark, oh God, have mercy on the Europeans. Weren't waiting for you to discover Africa. Oh my God, what? Oh, God. let me read this again, y'all. Y'all know I ain't got my glasses on. Here they are. Look, y'all, glasses. I can see. Okay, let me see. Oh God, have mercy. The Europeans weren't waiting for you to discover Africa. 
Oh my, oh my God, Allah. I don't think I understand that, Marika. Oh God, have mercy on the Europeans. Weren't waiting for you to discover Africa. <laughs> I don't understand that. Okay. And, and when you're referring to you, are you referring to me? Who are you talking about? And what are you talking about? Okay. So um, investment bill says beautiful newlyweds, beautiful Kiki. Oh, thank you, investment bill. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, isn't the blonde hair European? Well, of course it is. But guess what? Kiki loves Nigeria. It's 20% European. <laughs> so I'm 15% Scottish and I'm 5% Swedish. So the blonde hair, it's a shout out to my Swedish grandmothers and my Scottish grandmothers. <laughs> So I embrace me 100%. But just because I embrace the 20% of me doesn't mean when I go to Africa, I want to kick it with Europeans. I don't kick it with Europeans in the United States. I don't kick it with white Americans. Why would I do that in Africa? I go to kick it with black people. <laughs> I'll pay to do that. I will pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and throw money up in the air to kick it with some black people all day, every day with black people. Man, y'all don't know what that's like till y'all go to Africa and experience that. John, tell them what that's like, man. When you go to a place where you're from, man, money's no object. Y'all don't get that. To us, money's no object. When it comes to Africa, money's no object because that feeling I'm going to get when I'm there, man, it's worth it. It's worth it. And if you're not black, you're not going to get what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna finish reading so these listen, comments. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, so you want to say your part in words, Kiki? This has been a short. Uh, this is short. This is one of our shorter shows, uh, but it's been almost two hours. Okay. Let me yeah. read these last three comments. All hair colors are native to right. To, yeah, they are blonde hair. Black people actually have a gene for blonde hair. Sarah says all all native all blonde all hair colors are native to Africans. So no blonde is not European. And she's absolutely right. I just saw a story about that where there is a group of black people who do have the, there is a DNA there is a gene for blonde hair in black people. Okay, investment bill says I guess they were saying the Europeans have already been to Africa before you guys. You mean when they conquered it, when they invaded it? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, okay. No, we were there. We were actually there when they came there, remember? Our grandparents were there and they invaded Africa, they stole us, they brought us to America. I think that's how it went. So I think we were there before they were there. Uh, her real hair is not blonde. Why do you care what color my real hair is? Why is my hair even an issue? My hair is not an issue. No, my hair is not an issue. Trust me, my hair is not an issue. Stop it. You, you want to be European. I want to, John, this they, person don't, there. Look, uh, look don't, don't even feed. feed don't. Kiki, Wait, don't I want to be European, enjoy. but I'm going to Africa. I've been to the continent of Africa seven times. <laughs> My, I have two college degrees in West African history, but I want to be European. I'm going to let you sit with that, though. All right, John and Bella, I'm ready when y'all are. Yeah. So let everybody know how they can get in touch with you, Kiki. Don't okay. even worry about the code. Kiki, Kiki Loves Nigeria. You can hit me up at Kiki Loves Nigeria. That's L-U-V-S Nigeria at gmail.com. Or you can just click on my channel, click Kiki key, key, key Loves Nigeria, where I talk about Nigeria and I also talk about the Gambia. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else, John? Is that it? That's it. We next time you next time you come on, you're gonna be here. So yeah, you know I'm what I'm sure. saying. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I gotta go because I'm tired. I'm exhausted, man. I got a lot to do. I know you got a lot to do. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Long thing, right. And, and you gotta most definitely uh you gotta most definitely record everything when you get to, on your way to the airport, when you get to the I airport, know. everything. But anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is John and Bella from the fulfillment of our soul. We appreciate everybody for coming out 
and sharing this live broadcast with us. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment on mm-hmm. this live broadcast and all Bye, our baby. videos. We really, we appreciate it. And you know, as we always say, the journey continues. Peace. peace. Say peace, Bella. See you peace. later. Peace. <laughs> Next time y'all see us, we'll all be together chilling. You know what I'm saying? Good night, everybody. Y'all have a good time. Are we having an after party tonight? Are we all on to see you, Kiki? I know. Are we having an after party tonight? Shout out to Sarah and the baby, baby Ja. Baby Baby Ja. Ja. Are we we doing the after party? What's up? If we want to, we can. It's it's on and popping now. Boom.